Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B and today I'm going to be talking about isolation and what it means and the best form of isolation. Now what do I mean by isolation? Well, you see my hi-fi stuff behind me. It's on a shelf which is attached to a incredibly thick breeze block, cinder block wall. And that, combined with the type of shelf it is, which is what I'll talk about in a moment, provides, in my opinion, the best form of isolation, certainly for vinyl and certainly for hi-fi. So what is it that I have that enables me to achieve such isolation where I can actually jump up on the floor, and these are just wooden, old wooden floorboards, where I can just simply jump up and down with a LP, a, a record playing, and it won't even skip a beat. Whereas everything else in the house is rocking and moving around like crazy. Well, what it is, is uh, it took me a long time to, to, to find the best solution. And what I've got are what are called floating shelves. And unfortunately, I can't remember the exact make. They, they were made in the UK. But I will explain and show you in a video sort of how they're made somewhat. And what they are is they're attached to the wall by a aluminium or aluminum um, strip which acts as an anchor for the incredibly strong um, sort of honeycomb structured plinth that then slots into it. And this combined with the 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 strength of the aluminium the aluminum strip that goes across that's fixed to the wall by huge huge screws um and you know it really snug and then that plinth the actual shelf simply just slots in and just rests now a lot of you will think Dear God, that, that's not going to be particularly safe. That's not going to ho hold a lot of weight. Well, these, each one of these can hold, if I remember, I think it's around about 35 to 40 kilos. You could literally have a small child sit on these and it would be okay. They would be strong enough. So that's the reason why I bought these. Now, there are a lot of floating shelf uh, options out there and unfortunately a good deal of them the cheaper ones tend to be simply not strong enough they they are there more for aesthetics than anything providing solid strength now these ones behind me um, I can't remember the exact manufacturer because I can't find the email <laughs> with the receipt or anything and there's nothing written on them but the 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 plinth itself is made out of a honeycomb sort of design you know the shelf itself hugely strong and the um the actual wall fixing unit where it slots in um is made out of aluminium so those two things combined hugely uh strong um materials that when combined and then combined in the way that they are uh, as to how the plinth slots in and moves and just sits there allows for an incredible uh, means of isolation. Now there are various options you could choose from um, you know but the, the key thing is is that it's able to handle the weight because there's a good deal of weight you know just those couple of uh, separate units on on the right there um, or the left depending on how you're looking at it uh, probably weigh around about probably a good 15 kilos maybe 20 kilos so there's a good amount of weight there so if you're looking for in my opinion the best means of isolation look for a floating shelf that can handle a lot of weight they're usually quite expensive I think each one of these costs me around about a hundred pounds I've got three of them um, but they really are worth it they've provided such an incredible means of isolation 
Now, if you can't or don't want to spend that kind of money or believe you don't need that kind of isolation, I did the year before last, maybe, create a build your own isolation um, platform for your um, record player, for your, your uh, vinyl delights. Oh, I'm talking about that. Anyway, if you want if you want to do something on a budget where you could do it for around about 20 quid and end up with just you know a nice isolation platform rather than spending several hundred pounds, you could go down that route which is the budget route um and it will be just as good as the isolation plinths that you can buy anywhere else. But in my opinion, this is the best option. It's removing it entirely from the floor as long as what you're attaching it to, the wall that you're attaching it to is either a brick wall or made of breeze block, cinder block, something really strong and that can hold that amount of weight on its on itself. If it's just a panelled wall, I, I would be doubtful if it could handle the, the amount of weight, but also there's a likelihood of transference um, because there's nothing really deadening the vibration or sound or absorbing it. It's just going straight through. So it may not be as effective. So be careful on which wall you're attaching it all to. So I hope this helps. Um, yeah, so perhaps one day I will demonstrate me jumping up and down and showing you how effective it is. But take my word for it, it works incredibly well. Um, no vibration, nothing coming through when I'm listening to records. Uh, and it just works an absolute treat. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribing, please do that. That'd be that'd be great. And click the bell because we know what happens if you don't. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.